Tourism is our main industry. Finding new and innovative ways to market Antigua and Barbuda, that's what we aim to do. We're live at the Antigua Athletics Club. I'm Bruselle Marsh and this is Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. It is a great day. We had a few sprinkles, nothing to talk about. The skies are looking good and I'm feeling good because I'm sitting in the middle of two very important people. First, allow me to introduce our guests, our special guest from the USA. He was, of course, originally from New York, now residing, residing in D.C. He's been in the fitness business for more than two decades, training persons such as Beyonce, Deborah Cox, Puff Daddy, you name it, he's trained them. Let's say welcome to Mark Jenkins, to Antigua and Barbuda. Good morning to you. Good morning, you too. All right. Good morning to you, and of course, everybody knows to read. You are a staple here. She's USA. To read, we love when you come. You haven't been coming very often these days. That's what I do. That's what I do. Now, our, before we uh, go into, our, of course, the reason why Mark is here and finding out all the great information about Mark, when we think of tourism, fitness is not something we think about. You think of vacation, I think of eating, relaxing, uh, drinking, maybe a little partying. But fitness never comes to mind when I think of vacationing or tourism. How did you, Dorit, come up with that idea of pairing fitness with vacation? more and more to maintain those habits as best they can while on vacation. Of course, you're right, it's, it can be very difficult. You're at an all-inclusive mm -hmm. and, you know, eating and drinking is unlimited. So it's very difficult to um, really, we're just going to switch your mics there. Thank right. you. So it's, it's very difficult, it can be very difficult to really focus on nutrition and fitness and what have you. But there is a growing trend where hotels are recognizing that people want some some options for fitness and nutrition while on vacation and even here in Antigua in our um, A and B buzz we recently did a feature where we looked at some of the hotels who are helping guests stay fit wow. while on vacation so of course Jolly Beach you heard earlier they have their boot camp program you know there's yoga at Jumbie Bay Carlisle Bay they have a great spa mm -hmm. their garden spas their their organic gardens I know Carl Carlisle Bay they're starting a zero miles program where they're using all of the organic produce either grown on property mm -hmm. or within the village so it's definitely something people are paying closer attention to because folks are, are leaning more towards fitness and at least maintaining healthier habits while on Health vacation. Health and wellness Absolutely. Is, is definitely important. And I know that Mark has an extraordinary story uh, that he told me this morning. And I'd love for him to take a minute and just share how he got involved in fitness. I don't know if he told you. Oh, sure. I've heard, I've heard the story. Read. I've heard the story. Some people might look at themselves in the mirror and they say, you know what? I'm fat and I can never be slim and I, I can never be fit. What are they saying? They're only saying that because they're fit and, and they're slim and they don't know what we go through. But Mark, he knows exactly what they're going through so tell us your story all right oh that'll help right turn the <laughs> mic on <laughs> yeah now i started out with a 45 inch waist 42 45 inch waist i was actually went to dancing school with my uh sister and i was actually slim in the beginning but when you, i realized i was dangerous in brooklyn to go to dancing school and stop going to dancing uh -huh. school and then you know with the roti and the curry goat and the west indian diet you know <laughs> myself at like 17 years old with a 44 45 inch waist so wow. I was like you know I gotta do something so I, I went to the military recruiter and I said hey man you know you know I want to join I want to get in shape the Navy recruiter said they had McDonald's on the aircraft carrier so you know he saw I was a fat kid <laughs> so I said okay yeah yeah I joined the Navy I'm there. <laughs> so I joined the Navy uh, luckily because it was the Army or Marines I wouldn't have made it so I barely made it through Navy boot camp and um, I just saw the most buff guy in the gym and I said hey man I want to look like you and he was a Navy SEAL he's like well you can't quit and I said I just want to see my feet in the shower anything you tell me to do you know I'll do it Awesome. So uh, two years later, I ended up with 22-inch arms, 32-inch legs, and, you know, more importantly, I was empowered. It totally, because I had a desk job in the military, and it totally changed my life, just having the confidence and being in shape. And a friend of mine's getting kicked out the military. 
I trained him. He got in such good shape. They put me in charge of all the overweight guys in the military, and that's how I started um, my career. Excellent. Yeah. Fitness, I know, uh, is a very mental as well as physical. Very much so. so. More how, mental than physical. More mental than physical. How did you prepare yourself? Because, um, as you said, uh, you know you're a fat kid. Right. How did you prepare <laughs> yourself mentally that, look, I need to lose this weight? Well, you know, like I was telling you before, you know, I was dancing, so it, originally I had a dancer's body, and then, you know, to see myself within the span of a few years end up with a 45-inch waist, I just kept saying, wow, I know this is not me, I know this is not me, but I was too lazy to do it myself, so I said, man, if I go to the military, I'll have no choice. Excellent. You know, and that's just what I did. And then from from then, your career in fitness uh, just took off. How has it been since then? It's been a fantastic experience. I mean, I've never, I had a, re a real job, as I call it, from like a year or so in the post office. And then uh, in 1990, once I got out the military, I just kept on, started training celebrities. Brandy was my first celebrity client. I went on to train Mary J. Blige, D'Angelo, train Puffy for the marathon, and, and used the celebrity to inspire regular people to get in shape and also give a lot back to the community so it's been a great experience and com comparing celebrities with your regular clients like us regular uh, people yeah you're not any, that regular <laughs> is there uh, any difference at all uh, or do you drill them the same no way? i don't think there's any difference because each person is a celebrity in their own show mm. which is their own life so right. you like are that. a celebrity in your own show everybody's a celebrity out there so i don't really think there's any difference i don't train them any differently is it easy though to work with them? Because I love Beyonce. No, they're not. Used to, they're not used to taking orders. Not, my, not Beyonce was good though. She's tough. She's very focused and very, you know, like we, you know, ran in 80, 90 degree heat and she sang her whole album, you know, stuff like that. So she was really, just to get her in shape to sing and dance at the same time, you know, so she was very, very focused. She's a very good, uh, good athlete. Excellent. Yeah. Dr. Reed, how did you, you always bring us these excellent people here <laughs> to Antigua and Barbuda. How did you find, or where did you find Mark? Well, I'm not going to sit here and give up my insider secrets. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Mark um, is of Antiguan descent. Mm -hmm. Mark's mother is from the Villa Point area. So through a series of networks, you know, the six degrees of separation, mm -hmm. um, you know, we met Mark. And, of course, to hear that he is of Antiguan descent certainly elevated our interest in, in getting him here. Um, and I'm sure he'll tell you later about some of the initiatives he's working on. He has worked on several reality shows, and he's looking to do another one which of course we want to do a large portion of it right here in Antigua so Excellent. for the long weekend Mark will be doing some site inspections looking at various properties we're taking a hike to Mount Obama on Saturday so he can actually see that whole southern side you know we're talking marathon it's the same this morning they beat me up yeah yep, oh yeah yeah oh, oh yeah cool. that, that was serious too yeah. they will that was serious you. oh yeah mm. yeah so um you know so we, we definitely want to have you know we're at that point where tourism continues to be so competitive yes you know and we have it all here it's just a matter of uh product development um uh, marketing and marketing it marketing it appropriately mm. I mean like I said all of the hotels or so many hotels offer options but we never um, categorize it as fitness options on a vacation and I know that Jolly Beach Resort and Spa are one of the hotels uh, that definitely will be utilizing our uh, mark in their uh, health and wellness uh, campaign where tourism is concerned absolutely getting to the beach beach of it how, how are you uh, paired with them um, with Jolly Beach? Yes. Oh, uh, Jolly Beach was one of the first properties that we introduced Mark to, and he's had a series of conference calls with marketing. And I envision Jolly Beach playing a very critical role in the reality show when it comes about. We're talking about starting filming in, in June. Okay. So, I mean, Jolly Beach has one of the best beaches, um, you know, especially on the southern side of the island, and there there's so many properties that we can market that are, are in well uh, the, the rain is coming no, down no. here at the athletics club so we're going to just take a quick break and when we return we've got more of Dorit Whitlock of course Mark Jenkins we'll be right back Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. If you were with us, you would know that Dorit Whitlock, uh, she's the Director of Tourism in the USA, and Mark Jenkins, a celebrity fitness trainer, they're here with us and we're live at the Antigua Athletics Club and it's all about 
fitness, health and wellness, tourism. And that's what we're trying to do here in Antigua and Barbuda. Now, Dorito is just briefly telling me about this fantastic reality show that will be taking place. And this is just one of the initiatives, up, Mark. Talk to me about that. Yeah, we got a show coming out. Uh, I'm excited about it. It's like my first, first Mark Jenkins uh, show and no better place to shoot it than in Antigua, you know, I thought. So I went to the producers and then, you know, Dorit was nice enough to uh, extend uh, her hand out to help awesome. and get us to all these resorts and, you know, get me a look at the backdrops and everything. So I'm very excited about bringing that fitness application, um, bringing some technology and just making uh, Antigua a destination for health and wellness, you know. Excellent. What will the reality show entail? Well, I can't talk about it so much right now. <laughs> it's kind of okay. under wrap, but it's going to be uh, celebrity driven and uh, it's going to be fitness orientated, but it's going to be entertaining and inspiring at the same time. Excellent. We look forward to that. Yeah, me too. Antigua will be showcased? Absolutely. We have some of the best backdrops. Oh, and, yeah. And, um, you know, we have great properties. Um, I start, Earlier I was talking about that whole su Southern Belt with Jolly Beach, yes. you know, there's Sugar Ridge where Mark is staying, and we really want to thank Sugar Ridge for accommodating Mark, of course, and Sugar Ridge with the gym that they have. Awesome gym. You know, they, awesome are the, gym. they are the fitness, they're the center of fitness in Antigua yes. and Barbuda. So we, we envision utilizing, you have the Carlisle Bay, Curtin Bluffs, mm -hmm. you have Coco Bay, you have Coco's. Beautiful. So there, it's, it's such a, a, a concentrated area. Mm -hmm of the um, island to market because they are properties that people can stay at and then the, the various yes. beaches. So we're looking to see how we can incorporate that. We have Mount Obama, we have the Pineapple Farm, um, Fitchery Drive, there's just so much going on in that area. So it's still early in the game, but that's the reason Mark is here to really do some site inspections to see, in addition to the properties, what are some of the other attractions where the rainforest, um, you know, canopy tour, the zip line. Right. Um, you know, so there's just so much that can be um, incorporated into a fitness show on that side of the island, and we really hope that, you know, this might be the first of a series of, of, of um, shows that Mark can get us in, involved in. Excellent. And what will be the name of the show? You know, we're still coming up with the concept for the name. All right. We got okay. the concept for the show, but we're still trying to find a, 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 a name that's hot. So, yeah. We, the name is very important. The name is important. So, you know, you get the producers and you sit down and you kick it around. You know. And yes. then you come up with what's good. Yes. So, we're still brainstorming. But, you know, I didn't want any Mark Jenkins too much. You know, I just wanted to get something that was cool Mark where people got a vibe. You know, you get tired of hearing your own name. Yeah, you know. So. And you know what? The whole, the whole concept of docudramas. Are growing. For example, I like Mark. That docudrama. I didn't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> but for example, Mark worked with um, Diddy when he was training for the 2010 um, New York City Marathon. 04. Was that was the 04. 04. Mm -hmm. So Mark um, actually, it showcased Diddy getting ready for the marathon, running the marathon. So it was a, probably a six to eight series docudrama. I mean, similar to, for example, when Kim, Kim Kardashian got married, there was like a three-part series. Right, leading up wedding. to that. So the whole concept, so we're not talking necessarily a show that um, it's going to run for four seasons, right. but the whole concept of having a really great idea and turning that into a documentary over the span of a few a few. Um, episodes that really focuses on a strong theme is something that we think br brings um, a lot of um, concentrated and strategic um, bring, brings Antigua into focus and strategically allows us to market a particular aspect or niche of our tourism product. Excellent. And uh, David, you mentioned that he's got Antiguan connection. <laughs> You've got some Antiguan blood in there. Talk to me. Yep. Yeah. My mom is from Antigua. I, this is where I learned how to swim is, is in Antigua. My mom threw me in the water and like survive, you know, so that I definitely, I was here. Last time I was here was maybe eight years ago. I took Hak Islam here for a 30 day transformation. Hak Islam was the president of um, Drew Hill and Myers Record Company. Wow. And uh, that was the first time he had ever been to Antigua. Fell in love with what it. What were his thoughts? He comes back frequently. You know, we did a 30-day awesome. transformation. We did a fish diet. You know, we um, went to the beach in the morning, and then we rode the bike to the gym. 
every day and we stay here for 30 days and in that 30 days he lost our 50 pounds and you kept see, it off that's what I'm talking for eight about. years yep. because when you're in this sort of environment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so exotic and tropical and you wake up early and the sun kisses your face and, and healthy you food. can go to the beach and you can get the fish and, and whatever you need it promotes health and wellness. Absolutely. so, so Absolutely. this is some good stuff for tourism and you're getting the energy from the people and that's yes. the first thing he remarked on was like wow everybody's so friendly here you yes. know I'm getting the vibe it's, it's very conducive and that always stuck in my head so next time I got an opportunity to bring something back here you know here I am excellent and of course we want to wish you all the best what are some of the other things you'll be working on 2013 is going pretty fast yeah yeah it's going it's going super yes. fast so we're trying to bring a TV show the phone application my book is already out I want to bring it here and I just want to bring some technology here as well because there's so many things technology wise that Antiguans and uh, people in Caribbean could be doing to track their calories mm -hmm. you know as far as the phone application and then also having uh, wristbands that transmit how many calories you burn per day just so you're aware of how much you're eating because a lot of times people are not aware you know there's actually a fork now that you can dip into the food and it tells you what the caloric intake is of what you're eating wow, wow. yeah it is yeah that yeah. Advanced? yeah it's that advanced now <laughs> so a lot of the technology i plan on bringing here and also entertainment uh to read we're talking about bringing out uh, some artists here to perform and doing health wealth and uh longevity weekend so you can uh work out in the daytime and then party at night guilt free because you already worked out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know and combining it turning it into yeah. a lifestyle because i don't think it, it, it doesn't have to be one or the other you can have fun you can Absolutely. eat and you can be healthy and, and be in shape healthy. at the same time as well well we can't let you leave without giving us some tips uh -huh. uh, for those of us who are struggling yeah uh, to to keep fit and, and healthy give us our, a few tips uh, a few diet tips you want uh, a few any exercise sort of tips any tips how we can stay focused and maybe diet tips how can we start as a matter of fact start with best tip that i can give you to start in the morning before you get up Take a minute, take a couple deep breaths, close your eyes, and visualize yourself being slimmer. Visualize yourself at a better job. Visualize yourself working out, and do that every single day, and you'll start to attract what you visualize. You know? Positive energy. Positive energy and positive thoughts attract positive to you. So that's the number one thing. And where your diet is concerned, mm -hmm. all right, give us a uh, dietary tip. Eat your, car eat your uh, veggies and your protein first so you have less room for the junk food. <laughs> you know, if you fill up your stomach you first, <laughs> you'll eat it. You'll eat the junk food less. So you know what I mean? Fill up on your protein and your and, veggies. And, and your veggies first. first. Leave that good stuff at the end, so you uh -huh. don't have that much space in your stomach to eat. Right. Drink two glasses of water before you eat a meal. Okay. You know? Does that work? Well, if you drink cold water, it takes 50 calories to heat that up so your body absorbs it. So if you drink cold water, you burn 50 calories just in the heating up process because you and have to heat up know, to your blood temperature. And you know, I am so glad you said that because there has been a myth going around mm -hmm. that you shouldn't drink cold water. Well, it's not exactly the healthiest thing for you because it makes your body work to heat it up yeah. to your blood temperature to absorb it. But you will lose weight drinking cold water than drinking warm. You have just made a whole lot of people. Yep. And eat <laughs> small, frequent <laughs> meals. It takes 100 calories to digest each meal. So if you take the same amount of food you're eating and you divide it by five or six, you lose weight just because it takes 50 calories to digest each meal. So you're eating smaller meals. How often should you eat? Every two to three hours. Every two to three hours if you eat the If you're meal. feeling hungry already throughout the course of your day, then your body is already feeding off its muscle tissue. Oh, wow. So you never want to feel hungry throughout the course of your day because okay. that's when you're going to overeat. Right. So the key is to eat before you're hungry. This right. way you, you'll never overeat. All right. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. I can see why you're the celebrity trainer. Well, when are we working out? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Put some pressure I on you, right? I can't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start Come you off the Mark. No, no. You get, it's on the house. We're on the house. I you're can't on, afford you. You're on the house. Can you say that again? You're on the house. Have you recorded that? <laughs> you got me on tape. I'm going to sue you if you don't. Live. You're on the house. We'll get one in. <laughs> All right, I can't. I, I'm not gonna come to DC, so I know that's a joke. To read your final words before we go. Um, I just want to say, you know, we want to thank Mark um, for availing himself. I, I think it's gonna be a fun weekend. Um, tomorrow kicks off National Nutrition Month in the United States, and Mark is doing a number of things. So we're happy that we could be a part of his calendar. And um, I want to say to everyone who. Um, has the time on Saturday. We're going taking a hike from Meet Us at Fry's Bay and we're taking a hike, a very scenic hike, um, up to Mount Obama and back. And um, you know, it's I, I have found that fitness has grown in importance in Antigua and Barbuda and, and I'm really, really impressed with the level of involvement. And of course I want to thank the the Athletics Club for um, 
allowing us to do this um, live broadcast from their from their premises and just to say to all Antiguans and Barbudas um, a healthy country is a wealthy country definitely yep. well said our health yes. is our wealth health is definitely our wealth what can you do with your wealth if you're not healthy absolutely all right thank you guys so much yeah, thank you it's a pleasure come on here. hey shake my pleasure is mine pleasure is mine <laughs> good to keep see bringing you. them we absolutely. love it we absolutely it's love my it. pleasure this is good morning antigua barbuda we're live from the beautiful antigua athletics club and it's all about pairing fitness or with tourism health and wellness we have a, a nutritionist here and we've got some yoga to tell you about we've got a lot of things so call someone and tell them we're on you're flexing your muscles i'm Luda. flexing today ah. oh my goodness <laughs> oh, it'll be inappropriate for me to kiss it but it looks good we gotta work out <laughs> i'm getting her in the gym i'm convinced i'm gonna I, try I'm to gonna get you go. in there I'm today go. you see my little bulge i'm gonna go i'm gonna go this is good morning antigua barbie we'll be right back